okay in today's session what we gonna do is very simple we'll be making a call again to our web service using an Ajax right using Ajax and from the client side using jQuery fine so in the previous videos you remember what we used to do is like we used to return a string a simple object and we used to access that object very simply using a jQuery and we used to fill the things accordingly but here the things are a little different now instead of one record or color instead of you know a single object now I'll be returning you guys a bunch of list of an object right it will be an object of list so <coughs> now our job is to fill I mean uh, to get the whole list okay and we got the response at the client end we have to pass it correctly and we have to draw a grid view grid view I mean in the, in the sense like a table so we'll be drawing a table right so how will you do that <coughs> so basic plan would be we'll be having a button when I click a button it is going to make a call to our service the service will return a JSON response what we'll do is we'll use jQuery's very powerful function dot each using that we will pause the whole collection and we will keep on updating the data into the TD of a table right so that is a kind of a plan okay so let's see how it works <coughs> first of all let's see this is a button you have you have a button and on click you are doing something right so let me check the design and on the check on the server side I have written nothing so this is a call service function and the responsibility of this function is to make a Ajax call to our service so for those who you have not familiar with this thing just uh, I'll describe you in one shot <coughs> this dollar Ajax function is going to make a call to our service okay this is my service data so demo service dot service and I have a method which will get me all the employees and this method is nothing but the list of all employees these are my colleagues and these are my friends and they have the expertise so I have mentioned those and this is the whole object is coming back to us over here right <coughs> so what we did is like you know we are providing the URL URL is where exactly my service is located my service is located at root demo service dot ESMX and slash the method name get all employee let me show you get all employee is a method name right <coughs> am I passing any parameters no so data is empty what about the content time the content which I'm sending is a JSON format and I'm getting back as a JSON format so sending getting back and after which I have success and error functions if I get success then I'll get the response if I get the error I get the reason status why the it failed okay <coughs> so on success I'm calling a method called as on success call now this method is very simple now logic is uh, let me run this thing then you'll get the idea what exactly I mean by that if I when I click this thing as you can see I have a table and if I want to draw a table what can I do if I want to have a table what can I do the simplest thing is like first we'll create a table lag okay then we'll have the header ID first name and last name for which we require a row so we'll have TR TD TR TD TR TD I'm sorry no one TR and three TDs right so as you can see for the first time table then we got TR then we got one TD two TD and three TD in which I have ID first name and last name so far so good so headers are ready now now headers are ready now only thing is remaining is these guys we need to fill right <coughs> so how do we do that so for that <coughs> now we have to draw the row every time we have to loop the row every time and in which we have to fill three things ID first name and last name now imagine when you receive a collection okay when you receive a collection when you g go inside the loop for the first time over here I'm getting the list of employee six employees right so when I try to access this method okay in which I'm passing this response dot D is nothing but a list of employee which you saw here already right so basically when I'm going through each and when I say this when it comes into the loop for the first time it is nothing but a list of employees of zero it means I'm looking into an employee array of indi at index zero at index zero I got three properties 
ID, first name and last name. So that's what I'm accessing. So every time I loop through, okay, so I'll get the respective ID, first name and last name accordingly. Once my all TDs are filled, the last thing I would like to do is close the table, okay? Close the table and simply append the response to my dev, the response dev, which I have at the end. And as you can see, the whole table gets ready the way it was expected <coughs> but this table doesn't look nice so what I did was I went to a site I just flung around and I got out downloaded a CSS a simple style file which I kind of included in my project okay and then I added a reference of that file up here uh, where is this file right that's what I did and now I have to make only one line of change and that would be this guy and simply go down there and refresh let's hit again as you can see this is the beautiful table with all CSS and everything done automated so you got the idea right I didn't do anything I did I just did the basic stuff I first created a row then I start filling in other rows looping through and when the table was complete I completed the table I went to some site I grabbed some CSS a simple CSS which requires certain classes or ID I just provide them and based on that based on that it drew the whole table in a better way so now it looks nice right so I mean <coughs> there are plenty more plenty of the plugins are available on the internet like flex is as their data table as there some grid as there I mean it depends like I mean, this is the basic right this is how jQuery I mean you guys work uh, this is how the logic is I mean you will find you know there are plenty of plugins are available they are very powerful they are very dynamic dynamic in the sense over here I know that I'll be getting the three columns right so I'm manually hard coded you know in my TR TD that okay I'll be getting three rows so it will be ID then it would be first name it will be last name the plugins are available in such a way like you know they will create three rows for you three or five four rows for you they know how many rows will be coming how many columns will be coming so based on that they dynamically draw the whole table and simply they populate the data data we gonna get anyways the important thing is like parsing how do you parse it I mean from our end you, we use each function from there and I don't know what they're gonna use I mean there are plenty of ways you can draw the table right okay so that's all about it in the next video we'll be moving on with the same thing but with sorting and paging right so hopefully so far so we are clear we know how to make a call to a service I mean a jQuery call the benefit I'm getting over here is like I can show you a demo but you know imagine like there are a bunch of records like tons and tons of records I'm fetching from my server side when my server hits the pushback it's gonna take a huge time apart from the, there are tons of things I have on my page it's gonna go get posted onto the server but when I'm dealing with JSON JSON is very lightweighted one click is enough to get the whole data bunch of data I mean it's not gonna take a lot of time I mean when the data comes it is very lightweighted you can check the same thing in the fiddler as well I mean you'll get the, I mean very much uh, optimized response which will in fact improve your performance of your page okay so try that <coughs> anyways uh, thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe